Hello. So, got kind of a <laughs> random haul. Hi, Doogie. What do you want? She wants to interrupt me. Oh, it's the Doogie. She gets pissy when I have to pick her up. She's just loud in general. But yeah, we got like a random haul. Um, life updates, I guess. Since I haven't really. I try to at least do a monthly, just like talking about stuff going on. Still working a lot. And of course, another thing. I think I mentioned before that I bought a giant box of like Japanese snacks and we were going to do a review. Well, this company apparently is just like scammy. <laughs> so now I have to go through. I use my PayPal debit card and I opened a dispute and I hope it just works as the same as just going through your PayPal account. It seems like it so far but I have to wait a few weeks for them to even make any kind of decision. I guess they're giving them a chance to reply but I literally like the name of this company is Sacromart and it's S-A-Q-R-A, -A, if I remember correctly. And I bought over $100 worth of stuff. Because I thought me and my boyfriend could do this big video and there were some things that just aren't available local or used to be and they're just not anymore. And the prices seemed reasonable enough, but they... They refunded me for two items that were out of stock. So I didn't think at first that it was going to be an issue. But then I kept asking them, so when do you plan on shipping the item? And it had been almost two weeks at this point whenever I finally got the refund for the two items, which was like $6. Or $6 and some change. And they just never responded to... Like, I sent them multiple emails over the course of that, like week and a half before I finally went into my PayPal and opened a dispute, uh, I sent them probably at least 10 emails saying like, hey, it's been this amount of time, I'm wondering when you're supposed to be shipping the item, the items, like I bought a lot of stuff, like can you please like reply to me? And then at the end there I'm like, will you please reply or I'm gonna have to like dispute this with my card. So. Yeah. <sighs> and of course, you know, when you do that, you don't get any final resolution till like a month later. So I have to wait till the end of March basically to know. I mean, I'm pretty sure since it's PayPal and they're pretty good and it's their debit card, so I imagine they treat it the same as if you just went through PayPal in general. That they would just treat it like, or like when you contact your credit card companies for a chargeback. I think that's how this should work. Um, so, hopefully no other issues there. I wouldn't want to lose out on over $100. I'm, I'm just mad. I would like to do a snack video with him, but we'd probably just have to go to our local... Well, local, but like 30, 35 minutes away. <laughs> uh, Asian markets and get some different stuff. Uh, I mean, we could do that together uh, sometime this month. It's just, there's just some interesting, like, little cookies and stuff. I haven't seen anything like them around here, so that was a little disappointing. Um, and plus... I really wanted my salad pretz. They don't sell them around here anymore. And they had a good, like, price on them on the site. Like, it was about what I was paying in the store. I'm just, I'm just sad. They don't have my salad pretz around here anymore. And I love... They have plain, nasty plain pretz. And then they have the tomato ones, which I'm just like, eh. Don't really like those either. I only like the salad ones. They're so good. They almost kind of remind me of like, like like this hint of like Italian dressing or like a house dressing. It's nom nom nom. <laughs> They're like one of my favorite little salty Japanese snacks that I've tried. Um, but yeah. 
anyway, uh, let's see, anything else? I mean, my boyfriend's been, like, whew, going through a lot lately. Uh, not, like, our relationship's fine. <laughs> not that. It's just, like, life shit and financial stuff. I'm trying to help him out. Um, as I mentioned, uh, before. I've mentioned it a couple times, but I mentioned it in my New Year's thing, just talking about, like, I started debt consolidation actually last year in March, so I'm a year into it. Uh, you know, it's a process of just, like, dodging creditors, calling a little bit, and taking a hit to my credit score for a little bit, but I know I'm doing the right thing to repair my credit eventually, and I'm getting myself out of debt. Which is a nice feeling. Um, so I got, you know, three years left. And it could be faster if I uh, start depositing more money into it. I haven't yet just because I have other things I'm trying to take care of. And I also would like to have money set on the side before I were to put extra money into that. Just because my car is high mileage. So I feel like I should always have some money just in case. But I do want to try and start putting more money into that account to get out of it faster. Um, in the meantime, <laughs> it's always fun getting served papers from freaking credit card companies trying to collect when you're in a program like this. Which I just got one yesterday too. I, I already sent one off for American Express and I think this one's probably Discover. Yeah, uh, I think that's what it is. I don't know, it's over there. I gotta scan it, which thankfully my boyfriend has like a nice scanner. So I can scan everything, make it a PDF, and send it to, uh, send it to my lawyers with the debt consolidation company. Because you get like, I mean you pay like a fee every month, like $21 or something, along with your dedicated payment that kind of goes towards your representation. So... That's nice. It's a little pain in the ass to have to do all the, like, submitting the paperwork, and I've had to get some, um, affidavits and stuff. I've had to go into my bank and get things notarized. But, I mean, paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. It's, it's part of the process for me. And, uh, the reason I'm talking about debt consolidation is because my boyfriend is looking into it now. Um, he's going with a different company. Uh, he's just, like, he hasn't officially signed up yet. He's looking into it. But his biggest issue is, like, a car loan and he's underwater on and he wants to get out of it. We're trying to figure out how to get out of it. Like, that's that's our goal right now. And it's, it's definitely a shit situation. I mean, I... I personally would never be in that situation, but I also, like, I've always bought just used cars that had high mileage, so I've never ever considered a brand new car, so I don't think, like, I wasn't even ever in an opportunity to be in a situation like that. The reason he's underwater is because... He made the mistake of refinancing it, so he just he just got way above himself. We we we're reining in his microtransactions and stuff too. Like he had some games on his phone he was playing that he was spending way too much money on. So he deleted all the games on his phone except for like chess, uh, and like some little little free free games. Um. Anything that has a microtransaction, he's trying to stay away from. I'm helping him make lunches for work and making big old things of tea he can bring with him to work. So he stops buying these little, like they're two, he's spending like $3 a day on these bottles of tea at the gas station. Sometimes he's buying like an energy drink. I mean, he's easily, and then he'd go fast food and he's easily spending 10 $15 a day on drinks and food. And then it's like, I can make you a lunch. And make you a big ass thing of tea for freaking like two bucks. Like, 
and I make them like a big thing of tea. So, like with the sugar, the tea, the bread, and the meat, and the cheese, like, and then I usually throw a little snack in there, like some chips, or like I threw a couple little candy bars in there, and a cheese stick today, like, I mean, and at most it was probably like three bucks. So, we're just trying to like, I, I, I think it really helped them to see everything on paper. So, anyway, I'm rambling about the life thing, so I'm going to get into these random cheap haul items. So, got Doogie over here, like, being a sweet bean. Look at his sweet bean. Yeah. See, she was being sassy earlier, and now she's being all sweet. <laughs> You just get little. I, I've been wanting to do a video of my cats to like show their little personalities too. I think that'd be fun doing little cat vlogs. Because my cats are very like distinct. Especially this one. She, she, she I, I would try to describe how special she is, but I feel like if I could figure out like a good way to convey it in like a video, like just her doing all her like weird. <laughs> shit following me around the house screaming at me all morning <laughs> she's a character like i don't know she's she's cute though she being sweet bean though i got cat distracted obviously she's my baby though my my other cat pickles is probably on my bed <laughs> anyway uh so i got some clearance shit from walmart Actually, quite a bit of clearance stuff from Walmart. Um, oh, and I have skirts that I made from fabric I got from Joann's. So, oh, I'm going to show these skirts I got from Walmart. It's like, this fabric is like, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but like, if it's in the right light, it's like kind of slightly holographic. It's weird, because it'll look plain silver, and then you hit the light just right, and it like has like this little shift and this was technically this is technically a kids item but like they make the kids plus size now that fits like like the adult plus size which I'm not mad at it I find it interesting but I ain't mad at it and I got also a similar skirt in black but this one doesn't have like a holographic shift it just has like a slight like silvery shine shift like a maybe more like a gunmetal y shift I mean you can kinda see it's like a little shiny um let me show these are skirts that I made from the fabric I got from Joann's so this is like I had some Clarence Valentine's fabric so I made this like pinup girls on a skirt and then I have the pinup dudes the cupid men which I have a version of this fabric for Christmas that I made a skirt out of a few years ago and it, I, I just think it's so funny like these guys are just like so kind of flamboyant I don't know I like it <laughs> The sun is like slowly like traveling across my window so I keep like I need to move my camera over because I don't want to be blinded. Uh let's see. This is another skirt I made. Now this I was a little disappointed because So I wanted to do this bottom ruffle. As you can see, I mean it's on here. I didn't get enough fabric. I bought two yards of this. I should have bought three yards to do everything I wanted to do. Because this bottom is a hot mess. First off, this ruffle is not even. It's like... Well, it's not even pleated all the way across because I didn't have enough fabric. Uh, part of it ripped in one area and I had to re-sew it. Uh, some of it's like hanging lower. Like Some of it was like thicker than other parts. I tried to make it as even as possible. I still don't like this part that 
I couldn't ruffle at all or pleat at all because I did not have enough. Then the spot, this, the way I attached this is just shit. It does not look good. But I was already frustrated with this whole thing. So, it is what it is. I mean, it looks, doesn't look horrible if you're just looking at it, but if you were like actually looking at my construction from the underneath, it is a hot ass mess. But like, I don't know, I guess if you put like more of the actual, because I wanted it all to be kind of pleated like this, like this is like one of the few areas that looks okay. Um, the vision did not quite come together like I wanted it to because of the lack of fabric. And the reason I say I didn't need three yards to do this ruffle, I probably only needed like another quarter of a yard to do it the way I wanted to. I just say three yards because I wanted to make some accessories like a hair bow and all that too. And um, yeah, maybe an extra half a yard to do the ruffle like really nice. Or if I wanted to do like another tier, that would have been cool. I don't know. I've, I done fucked up. That's, that's all that is. And I try to go back to get more fabric. Nope. It was gone because it was like after Valentine's Day clearance, it was gone. Moving on, um, I got some crafty shit, and there's seats out the asshole apparently, but uh, yeah, we got a bee box, I hope this on clearance at Hobby Lobby, I thought it was cool for a necklace. Some different plastic beads. I like these little bears. Little hearts. And then I have some beads from AliExpress. Oh, okay. These are findings. These are just like um, to attach charms to like necklaces and stuff. Look at my horrible nails. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then I got a bunch of these. These are all from the same seller. They're like mostly all the same like style bead. Or they're all heart beads. And they're all like this kind of like iridescence. But I got different colors. Like this one's got a purple blue shift. And I got some pink and some green. Come on, bitch. Like that. Some orange. And then I got this black iridescent, and I got stars and hearts. And some um, little blue hearts. So, I got those off AliExpress. And I got these pairs of underwear for my boyfriend. I actually had originally bought them. Oh. Like, almost mid-January. So, I got him a few different pairs. I was going to put them with his Valentine stuff, but I literally just got them recently. So, I'm just going to give them to him later. But, I got these little banana boxer briefs. I got and then, some more little banana boxer briefs. And then, I got these little pot leaf ones. I get There's these and I my boyfriend seems to prefer boxer briefs or regular briefs. So I he looks good on them. <laughs> my opinion. <laughs> and then these ones. Now, he don't like to wear his underwear half the time, but well, he does wear his underwear. <laughs> okay, it's my, my pickles down here. She's exploring. Ah, okay. Here's another skirt I made. This was out of a um old Hello Kitty sheet. This one got a little donked up when I was making it. Just the bottom of the hemline. Uh, it's not the worst. It's just like trying to curl uh upward. So maybe if I like ironed it, it would help. 
that may even just be the main issue, honestly, because the rest of it isn't horrible. So, I didn't even think about ironing it till now. That's just my brain and the space I'm in. Fucking tired. That's the space I'm in. Um, I got some more stuff from Walmart. I got these, like, electric yellowy green chartreuse. Whoever tagged these pants did not do it properly. So there's a piece of the tag stuck in the lining. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, there's some, uh, sweatpants, parachute pants, whatever you want to call them. I just like this color. And then the shirt, which is a little more on the, like, like this is more chartreuse. This is more like highlighter yellow. But this was on clearance. That's this NASA shirt, which I had been keeping an eye on, so I wanted to get it. So that's cute. And I got a couple items from Dolls Kill. I'm just kind of like throwing them in this mess. Because, like, it's not a lot, it's just a few things. <laughs> like this little sheer dress and I think is this also a dress yes this is a another sheer dress it's this electric fabric this is our 2x and they're regular sizing I did get like a few items from this little lightning collection. So this is a whoop, wrap around top. <laughs> so it was like the back ties and that. And this is also 2X and it fits me just fine. This has got some long ass back ties for real low. <laughs> and then I also got this tie around over top thing that's sheer and you definitely it's got like this uh, tie in the front it's made out of the same sheer fabric and it's got these bell sleeves which if you watch me enough I love a bell sleeve <laughs> I feel like a bat or a bird or something I just like flapping around and swooshing at people. And the last thing from Bow's Kill is this plus size butterfly dress. It does have a higher neck, which I always do have a bit of mixed feeling about, uh, like a turtleneck. But I did think it was cute, and all these things I got from Bow's Kill were on clearance, so. I don't ever really like pay full price for stuff. I'm just I'm cheap ass. <laughs> I got a bunch of uh, fabric at Walmart. Um, so this I paid full price for, but it was only five dollars for two yards, and I got two of these, so ten bucks. Um, going to work on making some like backdrops and stuff. For other things me and my boyfriend are trying to work on. More black fabric. Um, yeah. This was four yards for four dollars. Um, this though is like a jersey knit. So I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to sew this. I'm just trying to make like a curtain. So. And like the most basic curtain ever. Like I am not going to get fancy with it. Then there was just like. Like this was two bucks. It's just some white fabric. And this was three dollars, and it's just like some tan fabric. And also, same with this, three bucks. It's two yards, and it's like this. I guess you call this like a periwinkle blue. I don't know. I like this kind of bluish purple color. Um, that stuff I kind of just—it's practical colored fabric. So, <laughs> and then I got these boots for a dollar, y'all. They're just like I got these. They're just plain black boots with a little thing. But I mean. They're a cute basic style, comfortable enough. Um, I got these as a backup pair of black boots for work. 
so for a dollar I mean fuck <laughs> that's like all I can say is like fuck like why not because I know I'm gonna end up screwballing my other pair of work boots at some point I mean they're looking pretty beat to shit so and I got a last few items I got some mushroom items from Joann's which I mean I was pretty excited about it I'm not gonna lie uh <laughs> Even though it was on sale, it was still spent almost $40 on the few items I got. But I got this coffee mug. I think there should be another mug in here. Yes. This, I like this mug because it has like the different, bunch of different types of mushrooms on it. Which is cool. I'm like, I don't know, I think this one's interesting. <laughs> it's just, I have a, like a weird fascination. Like, they're interesting from just that even biologists don't like fully understand them. I got this uh, cloth. It's just like a washcloth or a dish towel wouldn't be super absorbent as a washcloth, honestly. It's just like a to dry your hands. I wouldn't want to frick it up doing anything else with it. I got these. Ah! <laughs> There's two of these garland, mushroom garland. Oh my god, guys. <sighs> ah! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about it. I love it. <laughs> They're all tangled up right now, though. And then I got this purse. This little mushroom bag, of course. That's all my mushroom stuff. Okay, and I got a few items that were being clearanced out with Big Lots. So, like, there were, each thing was like a buck, 25 each. So this is cute little rainbow. I mean, this is kids jewelry, but what do I care? <laughs> and another kids jewelry. But, I mean, seriously, it's cute. And I have small wrists. Like, I can very easily wear... Like, look. Look at this. This is a child's bracelet. And my ass. Like, it fits me just fine. It's not too tight. Like, I have small wrists for a plus size adult. <laughs> and then, the last thing I got from um, Big Lots were these things of hoop earrings. Like I said, they were dollar twenty-five each, and I do like to wear hoops, uh, usually in my uh, top earring hole. Like I have my, this is my original piercing from when I was like seven, and this is gauged or stretched. Oh lord, people get like real fucked if you like. They don't. Some people get real weird if you say it wrong. So, <laughs> and then I have my last piercings up here, and I usually put small hoops. Or, uh, post earrings, just depending on my mood. Or, like, sometimes I'll put hook earrings that have smaller dangly bits, but I don't want to put anything too heavy in that one, because this one's a little more sensitive. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything, because I had mostly just a lot of random stuff. I think that's everything. My battery's flashing, so I want to stop this before it turns off. Yay! <laughs> anyway... That's all. Yeet, yeet. Subscribe if you want. I post random shit. <laughs>